good to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. This is your boy Jehoshaphat. And I tried to do this message before, but a lot of different things crept into the message and they were vital. They were things that you that you need. And it's a lot of a lot of stuff that I explain that I had to erase it because I want to do this message. I on my on my channel, y'all, I try my best not to be using no funky foul language. Now, through all the time that I have spent in scriptures, cuss words, I think that's the least of your problems. To tell you the truth, as a person that believes in Christ, I think cuss words is the least of your problems. But I try my best, y'all, to approach y'all in a fashion to where I'm respectful and delaying these words that actually I'm trying to pick my words real carefully. But in that last message, I was I was doing a bit of cussing, y'all. So I have to start this all over again. Do I mind? I had a lot of passion in that last message, but I was angry. So I'm going to try to calm myself down for this message, y'all. I really am. Do you hear me, my people out there? Do you hear me, fam? Now, today, okay, every single thing that I said previous on the message, I'm, I'm going to try my best to keep that out. And I'm going to save it for my topic for tonight because it's something that I want you to grow from. Yes. Now, today's show, we'll be doing a show on just the simple update of my car accident. Hey, y'all, I won my lawsuit. They was trying to stick your boy to the bricks all over again. Remember that one car that I told you that hit me, uh, Mrs. Brown? Now, this woman was able to lie on me. She was able to use my name, run it through the gutter, and try to pull out so much stuff on a lie. She was not able to do that. Now in life, I look for this woman because I know her judgment will be upon her. We reap what we sow. Whatever it is that you putting out, you're going to get it right back to you. And when it come back to you, it's going to be way more worse than the action that you did in the first act. So is it worth to be, is it worth you going out in this world being a funky foul person if you knew for, for certain that all of your misery, all your pain, all of your suffering will be reflected right back to you and you will have to answer for it. So in this life, I choose not to lie. I choose not to be a deceitful person. I choose to be a righteous man of God in fear of the fact because he didn't show me so many different times in my own life and my own personal reaction experience in my walk with God that he will discipline the hell out of me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Don't let your boy start slipping up because God will start whooping on me. I pray for it. You know what I'm saying? As long as he whooping me down, I know I'm doing something wrong. So it's up to me as a, as a person to change whatever it is that I'm doing in my very actions so he don't punish me. As long as he punishing me, I know that I have a chance to make it right. So that's why I choose. I choose. Not to be doing no sinning against God because I fear his judgment on my life. Plain and simple. Going off a of topic again though, y'all. Now, in this car accident, they lied on your boy. They said things that I, that I did that I didn't do. They tried to make some type of grandeur, grandeur story to, to where I was the guilty party. But remember what I told you. You get into these car accidents. Make sure you take video pictures if you finding a witness for a car accident is the hardest thing in the world but if you can find somebody somebody that seen something it'd be a plus in your case so what do you, what i say find yourself a witness take your video take your pictures call the authorities just to do a police report even if it don't help you i told y'all what happened to me when I called the police to come out to help me, they was damn near trying to arrest me. So, you know, they said every funky foul thing to me to make me say that to y'all. Now, I'm not lying to you. That's why a lot of y'all don't like me. I'm not saying all, no, but a lot of y'all don't like me because I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't need no lies. The damn shame about me and my experience on my channels and my show half of the shows that I do, I don't even know 
what I'm going to be saying until the day comes because I prayed on it. I actually sit up here and talk to God like, Father, I want to do a show. What I'm going to talk about. I don't even know, Father. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about or anything like that. He comes to me in the daytime and gives me a show that he wants me to address. So you could say half of the shows that y'all see me talking about don't even come to me. It don't even come from me. It does not. It don't come from me. I cannot take I cannot take responsibility or credit for something that I have not done or I did not do. I'm just being a good steward. Now, I asked the father. He told me. I, I related to you You heard it Whatever it might be I did my part I can't sit here as a man And say I didn't do my part When I did my praying The night before Just to get a story for you Today You know what I'm saying So have, I'm telling y'all The majority of the shows that Unless I'm talking about me If you hear me saying something about God That's not coming from me I'm sorry It does not come from me I'm just like you I'm waiting on what he gonna have me talking about For the next day This shit is so crazy it's hella crazy, but it's the truth. Back to this car accident. I won my case. God bless me with so much money. The car that I'm driving right now, I can buy two of them. And still have the same damn car that I'm driving right now. So in this instant, God used somebody to paper up my pockets just to give me something to be a blessing for me. Now I asked God for something. I wanted a new car, y'all. Or at least a car that's more newer than the one that I'm driving. Because to me, a new car could be a 2010. That's way newer than the car that I'm driving. Now, before this, this incident happened with this car accident, God came to me and he told me exactly how he was going to give me the money, when he was going to give me the money, what I'm going to have to do. God is talking. Are you willing to listen to him Everybody now they say the, they say the body is the temple. Why do you think they say that? Because that's the only word where God can be able to dwell. Okay, if God is dwelling inside of you, he's talking and he's telling you certain things about your life. Not about his life, not about her life, not about they life. He's talking about your life and what's going to happen. I told y'all, God is so good to me, y'all. God is a great God. God is a mighty God. God is a just God. God is so good to me in my life that he wants to help me with every single aspect of my life. From the most tiniest, smallest thing that you could fathom in your head to the most grander thing, exquisite. Thing in my life he helps me with all but if I do not give in to him he I don't think he'll help me if I'm out on my own thing doing my own will doing it the way that I want to do it how am I how am I allow God to be able to work in me if I'm doing it on my own accord it does not work that way so God wants to see me with a brand new car like the weekend I gotta go find a car now I, I can't say I ain't got the money you know what I'm saying I can't say he gave me the money now it's up to me to find what I want what I want, what I want to spend on, and what I want to be in. Do I deserve it? You better believe in your head I deserve it. But I was willing to give in to his will as well or I wouldn't have it. So my brothers and sisters, if you take anything out this message, because I have already said so much, take this out of this message. Trust in God, loving God. The spirit of God dwells in all of us if we're only willing to give in to his will. And when you get the spirit of God in you, he talks. He's going to help you with everything in your life if you will just give him this chance. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this message. I want you to really, really think about some of the things that I told you here today for they are the truth. This has been your boy Jehoshaphat. I'm out. Peace to all the people in the world.